Thank you, Chair. No, I'll not go into too much detail of that uh, delivery. Um, friends and colleagues, it's a great pleasure to stand here today to address conference. Probably the most buoyant conference many of us have ever attended. We're certainly up for the fight next May, aren't we? The record of the last four years of DUP Sinn Féin treating Stormont as their own personal political playground has been an utter disaster for Northern Ireland. Budgets falling apart, ministers dragging each other through the courts, and over the last six weeks, Peter Robson thought it more important to give himself a fig leaf rather than have a health minister getting to grips with the crisis throughout the hospitals. Talk about political self-preservation at any cost. I have had the honour of being this party's agricultural spokesperson since 2011. Proudly representing Upper Ban, I know the issues that our farmers face. In fact, I get to hear many of them around the kitchen table in my own home. The problems right now are unprecedented. Beef, dairy, sheep, pork, are all receiving far smaller returns than they deserve. Even compared to England, the price difference for our farmers can be startling. The recent EU aid package for our dairy farmers was a start, but not nearly enough. There are dairy farmers across every county losing thousands of pounds every single month. And whilst farming families struggle, what is the Sinn Féin minister doing? Well, she's spending £60 million and more of your money on a shiny new headquarters at Ballykelly. <clears throat> no business case, no willingness to look at other solutions, and all with the full support of the DUP, especially Gregory Campbell. How times have changed, conference, when a Sinn Féin minister is Gregory's girl when it comes to agriculture. <laughs> Such foolhardy spending at a time when the farming industry is on its knees is nothing short of a shame and a disgrace. She's a minister who pats herself on the back for things which have, would have happened anyway. A minister who didn't seem to realise the crisis until farmers started physically coming up to the doors of Stormont to protest. Blaming everything on DEFRA, the European Commission and even the border simply doesn't wash anymore. So what would we do differently if we were in office? Well, we certainly wouldn't be putting political dogma and pet projects ahead of actually supporting our farmers. But in all seriousness, and this is what I hope will be in our alternative programme for government, that this party would be an unashamed pursuer of new export markets. Access to new markets is the best way to secure the long-term future for our industry. It's worked for poultry, so why not for other sectors? The world should be our oyster. An Ulster Unionist Agriculture Minister would tackle red tape because everyone knows less time on repetitive forms means more time on the farm. We would end the stranglehold supermarkets and processors have on our local producers. Northern Ireland's farmers deserve so much more than what they've got at present. This cannot be as good as it gets for our farmers. That's why it's up to me and to you to convince them that the Ulster Unionist Party could do better. I support the motion.